the RR Tools Pro Set has a new tool available. Again, people who have purchased the tool set may download any updates I make at no additional cost directly on the Liberty3D.com website. Let me introduce to you RR Mass Motion. It basically lets you mass add and update motion constraints to many items at once using a single item as a reference. If you have a motion modifier, nodal motion setup, or anything that is normally difficult to apply to a very large number of items, that's no longer a problem. Take ray casting, for instance. For a few items, it sounds pretty cool, but you'll soon realize that managing things across multiple items is quite a hassle. I would much rather make my changes and edits to a node in a single item and have that change extend to all the other items in my scene and have the ability to update those changes quickly. Let me do a little demonstration here with mass motion. I have this null called master node, which contains the setup that I would like to apply to other items. In this case, it's just a simple ray casting setup. I want to apply this setup to all of these boxes. I'll first use Translate Average, also from the RR tool set, to get all of them in place the way that I want. When you select the item containing the constraints that you would like to apply to other items and hit Mass Motion, the plugin will first tell you that this item's parameters are ready for application. If you keep hitting Mass Motion while this item is still selected, it'll toggle through two modes and eventually cancel your Mass Edit selection as indicated by this red message. The two modes concern parent chaining. If you're dealing with something like a chain of bones or items that are parented to each other, you want to enable parent chaining. But in this case, these boxes are all separate objects, so I'll choose to disable it here. Select all of the boxes with the middle click method afterwards, and running the tool again will observe that a series of blue colored nulls are now influencing all of these boxes. Moving these down to the ground plane, I can roll these nulls over the terrain. Applying ray casting to this many items isn't something that you can do practically in native Lightwave. Even less practical is changing things after putting them in place. Well, RR Mass Edit does that too. Say you want every box to also rotate along with the terrain. Well, I didn't set this up beforehand, but that's not a problem. I'll just make one small change to my master nodes setup. Select the topmost mass motion container null and hit update. My change is now in effect for every item. This works indirectly by constraining your objects to nulls that are clones of the master item that you edit. If we want to bake out this animation and remove the mass edit nulls, the switch baker tool makes short work of that. This plugin enables you to utilize some of the features of Lightwave that are typically seen as fairly useless due to their lack of bulk management capability. Gravity, for instance, is an excellent way to get quick, highly controllable, fake dynamics for things that need to bounce along a ground plane. With mass motion, you can set up this motion modifier on one null and then apply it to dozens and dozens of other items. There's a ton of possibilities that open up with this plugin, including situational rigging like with this spider demo. Without this tool, achieving this effect with the same animation I found in the Lightwave 3D content files would not really be practical to do at all. Mass Motion opens the door to new rigging and animation workflows, so grab a copy of RR Tools Pro today or update to the latest version. Thanks for watching.